If global population and food consumption trends continue, by 2050, the world will need 60% more food than is available today. Because arable land is limited, most of this additional production will have to come from sustainable agricultural intensification. It is the farmers who have to produce more with less resources. They have to use fewer inputs and achieve higher productivity from the same areas of land. And they need our support. We can do this by promoting conducive policies which help farmers achieve resource use efficiency. And this in turn really has to translate into tangible advantages and benefits for the farmers. The higher incomes into reduced production costs and input costs and therefore more sustainable livelihoods. Sustainable intensification of agriculture needs to be addressed at a landscape level and with an ecosystem approach in mind because it's at these scales that issues of competition for natural resources, issues of natural resource management are best addressed. We believe that um, efficiency gains can be made in a large variety of ways, particularly by promoting smart resource use linkages and enhanced nutrient flows as we see them in integrated farming systems such as crop livestock farming systems, agroforestry systems and the like. What happened there is that policymakers, actually from different ministries, from agriculture and from fisheries, witnessed a successful resource use efficient technology on the production of rice and fish on the same area of land. And they decided jointly to promote this technology and to take it up one step and not only promote it but actually they set a target, a national target of one million hectares. So it's this kind of collaboration that we need really from all the way to the field up to the ministerial level that will help us achieve the productivity gains and the efficiency gains that are so much needed in the future. It can work and it will work, I'm convinced of that. Thank mm -hmm. you.